Hello and welcome to the SWS Classroom Chat. Today we are going to be discussing the physics paper for ISC Class 12 board examinations. And joining me now from Jamshedpur is Ashish Kapoor, easily one of the best physics educators you have in the country today. Ashish, thank you very much. Exam season, thank you're you looking so rather fresh, like I must it. say. <laughs> I'm looking fresh and I think students should even look more fresh than a teacher. Okay, if students should look fresh, but they would argue that, sir, semester one was not the kind of examination we would want in semester two. So given the fact that the semester one examination was quite tricky, the question paper was quite tricky, students did not fare as well as they would have wanted to, are students you are, who you are speaking to feeling a little anxious and apprehensive at this point in time? Sir, actually, I would put it this way. Semester one uh, definitely did not go well with many students. I can say there is always a room or a scope or scope for improvement. Mm -hmm. Let us put it that way. Earlier, in earlier examinations, like for till 2019, we had only one board examination. And suppose a student did not fare well, he did not get that second chance of Absolutely. you know writing the examination. So this these this batch being a little especially privileged that I can say you have another chance to prove yourself. Yeah. So you take it as a scope for improvement mm. and uh, put all your hard work and definitely I understand the anxiety, nervousness mm. and they are apprehensive of the fact that whether the semester 2 examination mm. will, uh, will be uh, better than semester 1 or not. Mm. But yes, I think it will be much better than what uh, you have already faced. Mm. Uh, I think uh, you will you'll be in a position to prove your metal. Right. Okay. I mean, if you have uh, gone through that, it can only get better from there. But having yes, said that, have, yeah. Because you, have, because you have already learned from your mistake. By this Absolutely. time, you have learned from your mistake. Yes, yes. that's right. So uh, in terms of preparation, that of course was an MCQ-based examination. This time the format is mm. uh, different. How different yes. should the approach towards preparing for semester two board exam itself should be as far as physics is concerned? Yes, the entire approach in terms uh, of difference, I will tell you. Mm. Semester one was purely MCQ, where you need to be thorough with the text, of course. Mm. And for this semester also, there's nothing new. You have to be thorough with the text. Yes. But still, you have something as a sample. Mm. For example, um, uh, semester one examination, it was totally MCQ-based paper. We did not have much of sample papers as such from the council side, only one sample paper. That's right. Like when you talk about subjective paper, subjective paper, you have multiple 2015 onwards, you can refer your past special PMQs. papers of IAC, yes. which will give you a brief idea of uh, as to how to prepare. Hmm. And uh, the questions which you, if, if a child has gone through past five, six years papers, they would really get an idea of what kind of difficulty level they can face. Yes. Objective papers. Yes. Or what kind of repetitive numerical based questions can come. Hmm. So altogether, there is a fair idea you which you get in some right. examination. That's right. Now talking about strategies, if you're asking me how to prepare. So thing is, this is a semester, this semester you'll have subjective and few objective. That is only uh, four questions will be objective. Hmm. The paper is comprising of 35 marks and it is divided into two segments. Hmm. One is optics hmm. and one is modern physics. Optics will be of 18 marks and modern physics is of 17 marks. Hmm. I would suggest all the students to be thorough with modern physics because it's the easiest part of physics. So I think you will gain much more marks there. Hmm. You should not go wrong. Hmm. And optics, I will not say it is difficult, but mm. yes, if you talk me in terms of, uh, if you ask me, sir, uh, where do you score marks? I will say you score more marks in uh, modern physics. Mm. So okay. prepare that well. That is uh, the one of the brownie points of, uh, of this semester. So the insurance will be from modern physics is what you're saying. I mean, they'll modern get... physics. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Right. Yes. So we have uh, definitely in subjective papers, mm. we'll be having mm. uh, definitions, mm. derivations, mm. numericals, reasoning questions, mm. and uh, case study questions. Right. So few tips which I will give you. Yeah. First thing is you can't flip 
a thousand page book before the examination. So you need to have a comprehensive notes with you. The notes which has been provided by your teacher, by your private tutor or mm. any other person or peer help. Mm. Okay. So you need to have a proper notes with you mm. because notes are the only material which you will study before examination and revise with it mm. before the examination. That's right. Second thing. Numerical, numerical point of view, students have this phobia related to physics numericals. IEC will only give numericals formula base. You have to understand that part. Hmm. Direct application of it. And the problem again lies here. Even sometimes the direct application formula based questions also some of the students are unable to solve. Hmm. So don't worry. You have to, or even if they solve, they land up uh, losing one mark or the other reason first month because they don't write units hmm. they don't do proper conversion and sometimes it is a sh uh, sheer negligence of the students of uh, while operating calculators they are not that skillful in operating calculators also hmm. because they don't operate at all hmm. so you need to know in numerical also you need to have four steps one Whatever data is given in the question, mm. please mm. write down. Don't skip steps. Write down the data. Put the correct formula and substitute the data in that correct formula. In okay. that formula. Right. Correct formula and correct substitution fetches you marks. marks you will yes. not lose correct. full you will not lose full marks. Yes. Even if you go wrong. You will at least get out of three. If you are at least if you have wrong answer, you'll get minimum two marks. Mm. Because the Entire process is correct. Uh, correct. Only and the end result is, is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So we we mark that way only. Your hmm. final answer is wrong. You will not lose the full marks. So it unlike is, unlike so the MCQ, my... so unlike the MCQ where it is one or zero, here at least for the process you will get marks even if the zero. Of course, goes yes. Wrong. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And in fact, in fact, that is in case of derivations also. Hmm. Valid for derivation. So they must write a correct data, whatever data is given with conversion, millimeter to meter, centimeter to yeah. meter, nanometer to meter, angstrom to meter. So all SI units. Yes. Then correct formula with substitution. Hmm. Third point, hmm. solve it properly with the help of calculator. Use brackets because calculator is also sensitive. You yes. need to have bottomless rule. So yeah. uh, uh, brackets and final answer. So you get your full marks there. Right. Derivations always draw a diagram. Physics is incomplete without a diagram. So you must draw a diagram. Diagram fetches your marks. Right. Then assumptions. If the derivation has an assumption, hmm. you write assumptions. Solve in stepwise. Don't skip steps. It's my humble advice to every child throughout the country. Do not skip steps. Skip steps. Do not skip steps. And if you are talking about time management. You will have ample time to complete your paper. Trust me for that reasons. People sit idle after completing the paper for at least 30 minutes. So why, why do you sit? You right. can easily complete your papers, so, revise also. And so was this the experience yes. during the pre-board examination? You spoke about time management strategy. So during the pre-board examination, students were able to finish it much before time. <laughs> If you talk about that point of view, pre-board, they were hardly prepared. So they had enough time to, <laughs> uh, you know, submit the paper much before time only. Okay. And they did not write well. But yeah. I think uh, it never happens that way in physics. I have seen in the past few years hmm. as, an, hmm. like, as a teacher. Right. It never happens that way. So, so uh, you will have enough time. In yeah. mind. So you spoke, of course, the broad categories of modern physics and optics. Are there specific... Uh, parts within these two large areas where you would suggest students should specifically focus in the days, the gap that they get before the examination. So uh, before examination day, 17th is their paper, 17th yeah. May and 13th May is their chemistry, chemistry paper. paper. So after coming home, uh, like after chemistry paper, these three days or four days which they have in hand is purely revision time. Mm -hmm. Revision is very much necessary. I'm telling you because before the examination, if you, you know, crack your mind, mm. you know, studying something new, you will land up in trouble. Let me tell you, you must make your own list of formulas. You must make your own list of laws. All the laws which are there in semester two, make a list of it. 
all the formulas which are there in Sanskrit to make a list of it. All the graphs which are there, make a list of it. All the derivation, uh, derivation which are there, make a list of it. All the definitions which are there, make a list of it. All the important diagrams because semiconductor is one topic in yeah. modern physics which is full of diagrams, hmm. circuit diagrams, electronic devices. Hmm. So you need to make a list of it. All the ray diagrams, you make a list of it. So it becomes very easy to revise. Hmm. It is all uh, at your disposal more organized. in one yeah. corner. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, more organized, very systematic. And it becomes very faster for students to revise also. And I suggest that uh, some, I can give a sample of it. I uh, uh, yeah. like, you can just, uh, you know, sc scroll through hmm. and uh, it will be definitely beneficial that way. If you prepare that way and hmm. trust me, it will be helpful. Second thing in this three, four days, revise using your past year papers. Hmm. It's 2016 to 2020. Okay. You must prepare yeah. the papers yes all the papers so the last four years papers uh, 2016 to 20 is something which you suggest they should look at and so that, uh, yeah yes and and a little disclaimer to it is 2016 to 2020 must be having some questions which are not a part of reduced syllabus correct correct so please don't go through that yeah yeah. Don't go through that, but the rest of the questions which are within the framework of the syllabus, yeah. you can yeah. definitely. My my last go, my last question, Ashish, uh, for students who are preparing for the JE uh, uh, entrance examination for the IITs, they would be going with the mindset because the JE will follow the board examinations as soon as the board examinations gets over, they will yes. be sitting for the JE. Now they will be in that JE mindset yes. of MCQ based question. How much of a challenge is it for them to shift? to writing in the subjective format, uh, what adjustments do they need to make? It's a quite a big challenge for them because they're used to having those shortcut tricks of uh, solving numericals yes. or uh, exactly. not writing the complete sentence and yes. all this. And uh, for definitions also, they don't write keywords because hardly definition is asked in JE. It is all, almost a numerical based approach. Correct. But when you talk about MCQs in what when you talk about MCQs in ISC, it will be comparatively very very easier mm -hmm. than JE uh, your JE level. Yeah. So MCQ will never be a problem for them. But for theory point of view, when I am talking about subjective paper, they need to be absolutely thorough with the text. You can't just you know uh, uh, escape that part. Mm -hmm. So you need to have your notes. Mm -hmm. You need to follow your teacher's instructions carefully. Hmm. And uh, definitely talk to your teacher as to hmm. how to prepare because uh, uh, you sometimes students have a bad tendency of having anxiety before the examination also. So at that point of time, a piece of advice is talk to the person, uh, specifically your teacher, or uh, take some peer help. Hmm. You'll be a little calm hmm. and uh, better. And for those as aspiring IITs also, I will tell you, you, when you are writing board examination, you need to be a little meticulous in following the board's pattern. Mm -hmm. right, right. IIT is a different ball game and IAC is a different ball game altogether. Right. Absolutely different ball game. And the, I do hope that students are man they manage to kind of conquer this game, play this game better than they did in semester. This time, yes, I am quite sure students will definitely do well. And all my best wishes to all the students mm. of class 12 IAC, CBSC, mm. all over the country. Mm. And I'm quite hopeful they will do extremely well in the upcoming board examination. Just don't panic, give your best shots. Right. Okay. Thank you, Ashish, for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for inviting every time. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Bye.